We begin with news coming in from the National Commission for Women where a three-member fact-finding team visited Badayu and has now prepared its report on the gang rape and murder, that ga double gang rape and murder that took place there last week. The report holds the police completely accountable for what happened and also indicts the state government for the deteriorating law and order situation across Uttar Pradesh. There's also a reference in the report to Samajwadi Party Chief Mulayam Singh Yadav's comment about rapes being mistakes that boys make. The report makes several recommendations to deter rapes and stop crimes against women, including, the, including having a female constable in village police stations across Uttar Pradesh. Preeti Chaudhary is live with us now for more on this report. Preeti, some, some uh, important recommendations, but, but also some, some fingers pointed directly at people who the NCW believes are responsible for this, for this ghastly crime. Well, Pierre, uh, a three-member team from the NCW is, is in Badayu. They've come up, uh, uh, they were on a fact-finding team. They've come up with recommendations which would be filed with the government tomorrow. Now, what's most important uh, on what they have put forth in uh, on paper, which they are going to, you know, the government with is, and it's most interesting because point number one is that there is absolutely, and that is what Mamta Sharma told us, that there is absolutely no fear of the law for a particular community. Of course, she did not name that community, but she did go on to to elucidate when she says that if the chief minister or if the father of the chief minister will come and make comments that uh, young boys make mistakes of a particular community and that they should be forgiven, that particular community will get emboldened. In any case, uh, Pierre, uh, it's, everybody knows that uh, the dynamics, especially the socio-economic dynamics in Uttar Pradesh are staunchly divided on the lines of caste. At this point of time, when we did actually go through the number of cases that have been reported in the last three months, and that was what was confirmed by Mamta Sharma, that 50% of the cases are on caste lines, where one particular community has uh, you know taken advantage of the law and order situation because many of yeah. the, the people from that community are a part of the police so that was one yeah. thing which we uh, you know which has been pointed out in this fact finding mission in this report that would be submitted to the government tomorrow the other things which are very clearly mentioned uh, pair one that a female constable needs to be uh, uh, put forth mm -hmm. in every small uh, police station especially in villages uh, what's also been pointed out is that the necessity of this is a lot more than in right. cities uh, because we just heard the chief minister four days back where he said that he's put these small uh, control centers with female constables in main cities like Kanpur in Lucknow. Now the NCW wants right. that turned, they, they want uh, that, uh, you know, that presence of women policemen should be there in smaller villages than say in cities. A couple of okay. recommendations also made, Pierre. Uh, you mentioned that uh, female constables in every village police station was one recommendation. Uh, there were two others you said. Well, also, you know, that's what Mantab uh, Sharma was uh, talking to us there, uh, Pierre. Another thing that she said was that uh, in this entire incident, uh, the entire incident unfolded in a diametric of 200 meters, where that was that particular mango tree where these two girls were found hanging. The house of the girls was right there, and so was the police station. So uh, the people who are completely complicit in this is the police uh, of that particular area. Now, what they've also done for the first time, Pierre, because usually when the NCW goes and you know goes on a fact-finding mission, they can only make recommendations and they usually limit themselves to a particular case now this time around they have right. uh, uh, widened the horizon they've picked out about 10 other cases from the same district uh, of uh, Badayu where the same kind of atrocities especially where the police was involved those cases have also tied have been tied into this one particular case which has been highlighted by the media and uh, all those 11 cases recommendations on the basis of that would be going out to the government uh, and from there uh, it would come down to the women and child development ministry now those questions will be put forth to the minister Menaka Gandhi who's holding a special press conference uh, right. today and that uh, report that NCW has filed should also find mention in that particular press conference at 4:30 p.m. today evening